Welcome to the Horse Talk Show. Have you ever seen a horse who could talk? With your host, Louisa Barton, who really wants to be a famous rider. She really loves to ride fast. Presented by Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care. Who thinks I have horses with people problems? Now here's the Brit on the bit, Louisa Barton! Enjoy the show. Join us July 22nd, 8.30 to 5 p.m. for the equine extravaganza at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion, Ocala. Brought to you by West Florida Fence and the Horse Talk Show. Fundraising for Spirit Equine Therapy and Open Hands Animal Rescue. Enjoy a fantastic breed show from miniature horses to Clydesdales. With jumping and dressage demos, you can also watch barrel racing, dog training, mounted shooting, and enjoy food vendors and crafts for kids, plus a silent auction. Check the Equine Extravaganza fundraiser event on Facebook. And we'll see you July 22nd from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion for the best in horsing around in the horse capital. Larson Farms is our TV broadcast sponsor. Mr. Richard Larson, a man of great integrity, cares about every single bale of hay and about taking care of his customers. He also has a huge heart for those genuinely in need. Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Welcome to the Horse Talk Show and Louisa Barton is not here so we're going to go wild. I'm Dancing Pete Rhoda, Complimentary <laughs> Horsemanship, and Betsy is my co-host, yep. Bev Aqua, Ocala's finest. She Alf always Alfalfa. <laughs> Alfalfa. So <laughs> are presented by Peterson and Smith, comp, uh, Complete Care. Oh, messed it up. Presented by Peterson and Smith, Equine Hospital and Complete Care. And our broadcast sponsor, Larson Hay, Idaho's finest, finest alfalfa. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Good. <laughs> so Louisa's out. She's actually going to Ireland to a sister city? country city. city. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. And yeah. she's going to hang out for a few days. So yeah. you've got me and Betsy. So Betsy is my side support, my right-hand girl. So here we go. All right. So... The extravaganza is coming up in the news. The Florida Equine Extravaganza, July 26, 2023, at 8.30 to 5 p.m. And where is that, Betsy? It's at the Southeastern Livestock Prevent Pavilion, presented by West Florida Fence and the Horse Talk Show. Wow. And what whoop, are we going to be seeing there? Breed Parade? Demos, kids' crafts. Vendors and more. And what does this benefit? This is all to benefit the Spirit Equine Therapy and Open Hands Animal Rescue, also known as OHAR. Well, there you go. Yep. We'll come out and join us, and we'll have a good time from 830 to 5. Then we have our reading program at on the June 29th at 10 o'clock at the Marketplace downtown. This is when we have the little horses come. And they read and have books that actually they're in the character that's in it, which go nuts on that. Gentle Carousel, thank you for that. It's free to the public. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. They have chairs, but you can bring your own. Yes, ma'am. I've, I've attended. Pete's attended. Yes, ma'am. It's a great program. has great turnout. Yes, ma'am. All right. Also on that note, congratulations to Gentle Carousel for winning the Manhattan Film Festival. And Magic was also honored with the Mitchell Memorial Animal Achievement at an annual Florida Bar Lawyers Convention yes. in Boca Raton. This award is for an animal that provides exemplary service to people of Florida. Rick Mitchell was the first courthouse therapy attorney. dog Yeah, would accompany victims 
of assault into the court. So what an honor for Magic to be a recipient of that. And we also want to thank Mayor Gwen for helping with both of these. Yeah. If it wasn't for Mayor Gwen, I don't know that all of these travels would have been possible for Magic and the general. Yeah, he donated some good money to make sure they could make it because they're nonprofit. They are nonprofit. They need the help they can get from everybody that appreciates their programs. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Well, Way to go, Magic. All right, now we're on to Piranha Golf. That's coming up in November. We're going to have lots of fun as we do each year. And it's a golf tournament to benefit, what is it? Oh, well, let's see. I can't I remember. Can't read it. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember drawing. Enhance the well-being of people and animals. Simultaneously, Piranha, they're going to be in November where they're looking for sponsors. They raise a lot of money every year and come on out and spend some time with the pro Ted Potter, PGA golfer. We went. Larson Farm had a team last year. Oh, wow. And our our team finished uh, third or fourth. They had a great time. It raised a lot of money that went to... uh, very good organizations to help our community. Very um, good. It, it was a great time. They treated us very well. Great golf course. And Piranha, always a big sponsor in our community. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Piranha, they're like family. That's, that's They are, for sure. They're just great folks. And they invited Luis and I to their... Well, they were doing the golf tournament, and then they do a dance and have some fun with that. But they also did their Christmas party, and we got invited. I was like, Luis is like, you want to go to the Christmas party? And I said, were we invited? And I was like, yeah, let's go. And they treated us like family. It was really nice. So hats off to Piranha. For that. Yes, Now, we did forget one thing. What did we forget? The Hobby Horse Games. Oh, of course. And they should be coming up. The Hobby Horse Games should be coming up in October 21st at the Florida Horse Park. That's an event you and I both attended yes, ma'am. last year. I did some raining patterns. I sang the national anthem, but we won't talk about that. Well, and, the words are very difficult. <laughs> and I organized the parade. So. Yes, you did. It's free admission. Come out and play games on stick horses. Learn about all different breeds. Um, Show jumping, dressage, uh, horse racing. Barrel racing. There'll be food trucks, vendors. There'll be horse-drawn hayrides. Wow. Horse-drawn hayrides where you can have those big, maybe Clydesdales pulling that wagon and give you rides for free. And this is the thing that I love about it is these are top professionals. This isn't just somebody that goes, oh, yeah, I do that sport. No, we had top Rainer families we Top had barrel racers she'd been to the nfr yes ma'am polo people yes ma'am and we'd like to thank all of our sponsors ag pro ocala polo the florida horse park and, and of Larson course Hay. idaho's finest alfalfa <laughs> <laughs> so come out and see us and put is, that on your calendar and this is put on by the cep equestrian or what Louisa runs, so there'll be a lot of real good times to come out and meet lots of people. I met a lot of people. That was my first event. Yeah. So it was it a lot was of fun. Great. It was a good day. The weather was great. Lots of good people helping kids. Yes, we had ma'am. a fun, fun time. Oh, we had adults getting into it too. Yeah, we did. They got competitive, and oh. then we had one guy. I think it, it's in the thing that he actually started acting like his horse was jumping around, yeah, kicking and, up its heels, and yes, ma'am. trying to buck him off. Yes, ma'am. So it's a lot of fun, and it's not risky. So no. you're not having to get on a horse, which can be scary for some people, but learn the how to do these things on a stick horse. And you can make your own stick horses, oh. or you can purchase one or borrow one while you're there at the event. They'll have stick horses I think horses we should tell there. Louisa we should have a contest and who has the, the best. Yeah, we'll have a, oh. a halter class where we... Oh, a confirmation, confirmation class. Yeah. Oh, man. Who's got the nicest one, the quietest We're talking about one. the stick horse. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Bays, yes, chestnuts, yeah. Appaloosas, Palominos. Yes, ma'am. Grays, just pick pick your pony. Pick your pony. Yep. We're also tonight going to have Dr. Kayot. 
He's going to do cellulitis. Yay, Dr. Kayot. He's going to talk about that. And then we have the Gomez Brothers, which you know them. I do. They are sponsored by Larson Hay. It's Theodore and Wyatt. They're Very good. great, great young men, homeschooled. Uh, they Parents, team, really nice people. Oh, good people, good yes, people. Ma'am. Their dad's a, uh, a farrier, and uh, mom is a dog trainer. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's yeah. great. And we're going to also have Epic and talk a little bit about the hy- hyperbanic chamber and then the closing tip of the week and a lot of good stuff. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. This portion of the show is presented by Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care. And our TV broadcast sponsor is Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. Supporting sponsors are DAC Vitamins and Minerals. Seminole Feed Stores, Lip Chip LLC, Piranha, Florida HVAC Services, Crystal Cryo, Ocala Dog Ranch, and The Drinking Post. This show is brought to you in part by DAC Vitamins and Minerals of Florida. All horses need a solid immune system, excellent joint support, a healthy gut, and DAC has all the vitamins and minerals they need with the NASC stamp of approval. So like them on Facebook now or go to feeddac.com. DAC, it makes a world of difference. Horsemen, are you tired of technology that doesn't fit your way of life? Lip Chip, built by Horsemen, for Horsemen, is ready to revolutionize your world. The answer is in the Hooflink system. Simply implant, scan, and unlock your horse's health information. From driving to Grand Prix jumping, all horses, all breeds, and all disciplines. The future is in the integrity and transparency of all horse sports and in the safety of our horses. The future is here, and the future is Lip Chip. Experience the bluegrass. Step into the Elwood Hotel and Suites, situated in the heart of Lexington. Elwood is a unique yet familiar place, your home base to explore. Minutes from the University of Kentucky and the best distilleries on the Bourbon Trail. Only a short drive from horse country and from the iconic Keeneland racetrack. Full of warm, natural light, Elwood rooms are inviting, a space to retreat, rewind and relax from spacious rooms to extended stay suites each room is unique just like you don't miss a beat in your fitness routine either and your fairy friend is welcome too elwood has cozy beds yummy treats and snuggles too elwood is more than a landing place it's a tribute to a contemporary southern lifestyle a delicious place to refuel and to launch your Lexington adventure. Book your stay at theelwoodhotel.com and like them on Facebook now. Settle in at Elwood and begin generating memories in the heart of the bluegrass. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Welcome to the Horse Talk Show. Louisa Barton is in here. It's me, Dancing Pete, and my co-host Betsy. Hi. From Larson Hay. Yes. It's presented by Peterson and Smith, Equine Hospital and Complete Care, and our broadcast sponsor, Larson's Hay. Idaho's 
finest alfalfa. <laughs> and the reason why Betsy's so good at that, that's my usually my line, is because she works for Larson. But I also hear it every every week with my friend Pete. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I listen in. Yes, ma'am. So we're going to have Dr. Kayot come, and he's going to talk with Louisa and you guys about cellulitis. So we're going to find out a lot about what that is if you don't know, and probably how to treat it. Yes. I got to meet Dr. Kayot um, when Flynn was at the house, Louisa's ha- horse. Oh, yes, ma'am. Very, very knowledgeable, nice man. Yeah, treat your vets really well. Treat them well. Yes, ma'am. All mm-hmm. right. We will talk to Dr. Kayot. Louisa Barton for the Horse Talk Show, the CEPZ Equine Initiative and Equus Television here with Dr. Adam Kayot from Peterson Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care. We're going to talk about a topic that I've had pop up a lot lately in social media, uh, and that is cellulitis. Dr. Kayot, thank you for being with us. Tell us a little bit about cellulitis. I know it starts off with a swollen limb, generally. So, so what happens is cellulitis is basically a, a bacterial infection of the skin. Um, bacteria enter through uh, either a break in the skin, um, or through um, cracteal, maybe cracteal, which is a which would which would be a break, you know, or or even through um, the hair follicles that can it can get in there. Um, it uh, people can get cellulitis too. Um, it's very painful. It's uh, categorized by um, swelling and sometimes extreme swelling of typically the limbs. That's where horses get it. They get it on their, their typically lower limbs, but that swelling will progress up the limb if left untreated. And so um, it's very painful. A lot of times horses don't want to walk. They don't want to bear weight on that limb sometimes. It's very painful to palpation. So if you just, if you grab it, they'll pick the leg up like, ouch, that really hurts. Um, and the, the, the common, the common um, response to that is obviously the pain, but then we call it pitting edema where, where if I grab a hold of it, my fingerprints will be left in there. The, it pits where I, where I put pressure on. So you have that pitting edema um cellulitis can be um linked in with lymphangitis so that's obviously swelling of the lymph system and the horse has depends on the lymph system in the limbs to pump blood and flow fluid up and down the limbs so um lymphangitis um can be associated with cellulitis uh they can be very very difficult to treat um the uh Number one thing is anti-inflammatories and antibiotics and try to get them on it as soon as you can. Um, I like to tell people keep the limb clean and dry. I don't necessarily, I'm not big on salves and stuff like that to put on. There are some out there and um, uh, that are cellulitis salves or whatever. I don't tend to use those too much because I, I feel like um, those salves just collect dirt you know, and they keep the dirt on the they leg. They keep the dirt on the leg, yep. yeah. And I just try, I try to have people keep the, t- keep the leg clean and dry because down here, when I, when I came down here, they call it dew poisoning. That's another you know, <laughs> yes. slang term. And, right. and the reason they, reason they call that is because if the horse is out in the grass in the morning with the dew, the water gets on the legs and then the dirt collects onto the leg and it just never goes off. And that, can lead to cellulitis that can lead to the bacterial infection because then the leg gets irritated the skin gets irritated bacteria gets in that you know if, it, if it's uh, if they get a cut or there's a little bit of weepage or whatever because of that that's how it starts and so up north where i grew up we called it scratches that's what they called it up there and, and you'll you'll get that like greasy heel that you're talking about or or in the back of the pasture and they'll get those cracks and then you can get it th- get it get through, it through that. that that's very common so any opening any, any kind opening of trauma, though any yeah, opening right. if they get a little cut yep. on their leg they can get cellulitis from it now so why? to be aware of that if there is tra- mm-hmm. some kind of trauma yep. to the leg and you have a cut keep your eyes yep. out keep for your eyes out symptoms. try to keep it clean if you think antibiotics are warranted or you need you think your veterinarian should be called certainly you should do that because it can get more serious oh absolutely and it'll it'll happen like that i mean you'll you'll go out in the morning and the horse will look normal, and then by feeding time in the evening, they'll have a stovepipe leg. I mean, it can happen that quickly, and and they're really they're really uh, painful. And some of them take. I just had one that you know some of them take a few days, and they get better. And then I had one that took like three weeks. 
Whoa. you know. Yeah. So we were treating that horse for like three weeks and it finally um, came back down. But um, they can be very frustrating and uh, the sooner you jump on it, the better off you are. But clean and if and dry. a horse is, so clean and dry is really important. But if a horse is actually on that uncomfortable leg long enough and doesn't want to be weight bearing, they tend to more often be rear legs, I think. And then they don't want to stand they got more weight on the front, so then you risk the laminitis as well. The that's that's right. true. I, I can't say that I can't say that it happens in the rear legs more than the front. I think it's equal About opportunity. Equal. You know, <laughs> equal opportunity. So um, maybe it depends on where the cracks are, right? Yeah, it just depends on that. And and um, um, but typically they're still able to bear weight on the leg, um, so that helps mitigate the chance of laminitis in the in the good or the opposing leg. Um, but, uh, but if you let it get too but bad, but you let it get yeah. going bad, it, it, it's it's yeah. It's not Anything fun. with one of those four legs mm -hmm. can end up being yeah, a bigger issue if absolutely. you don't take care of it. So yeah. it's really important to get on it quick right. with the antibiotics and the anti-inflammatories mm -hmm. and just help the horse get over it and hope it doesn't take three weeks. Yes, exactly. Because <laughs> you know, it can be frustrating. It's frustrating for the owner. It's frustrating for us as veterinarians because you know we're trying to like, gosh, dong. You know, I'm giving this thing everything I can give it, and it, so uh, some of them can be. Um, be frustrating for sure okay very good cellulitis so if your horse has any kind of cut uh, dew poisoning cracks in the heels uh, anything like that it's definitely something to be aware of then if you see the swelling in the limb something to, to contact your veterinarian or Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital if they're not your vet maybe they should be <laughs> <laughs> Louisa Martin here with Dr. Adam Kayot at the Florida Horse Park for the Horse Talk Show and Equus TV this portion of the show is presented by Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care. And our TV broadcast sponsor is Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. Supporting sponsors are DAC Vitamins and Minerals, Seminole Feed Stores, Lip Chip LLC, Piranha, Florida HVAC Services, Crystal Cryo, Ocala Dog Ranch, and The Drinking Post. At Crystal Cryo, you can relax and enjoy a non-invasive cryo skin facial. Reduce fine lines and wrinkles and tighten the skin. Improve texture and tone. Stimulate collagen production. Reduce inflammation and acne. And increase blood flow to the skin, resulting in a more youthful, radiant appearance. And it all takes only about 30 minutes. Boost your confidence now and set up a consultation. Find Crystal Cryo at crystalcryo.net or on social media. Experience Experience the ultimate in relaxation and rejuvenation. Pamper and revitalize your body, mind, and spirit at Crystal Cryo. This show is brought to you in part by Seminole Feed Stores, family owned since 1934. Manufacturing fixed formula horse feeds with mindful monitoring and quality ingredients right here in Ocala in an all natural, non medicated feed mill. Seminole Feed, simply the world's best and safest feed. Like them on Facebook now or find them at SeminoleFeed.com. Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care seeks to be a leading international veterinary practice that provides state-of-the-art veterinary care to their patients while fostering professional relationships with their clients that stand the test of time. For 24-7 and the best in equine care, check out Peterson and Smith at petersonsmith.com or like them on Facebook now for more information. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Welcome back to the Horse Talk Show, presented by Peterson and Smith, Equine Hospital and Complete Care. Our broadcast sponsor, Larson Hay. Idaho's finest alfalfa. I'm Dancing Pete sitting in for Louisa from Complimentary Horsemanship and I have my right hand Betsy 
from Larson Hay. Yep. She's sitting in to help me out while Luis is gone, and we have a fun group with us. This is the Gomez Brothers, and they're sponsored by who, Betsy? They're sponsored by Larson Hay. All right. We have Wyatt. No. Oh, no, Wyatt. I was going far. I made a mistake. Wyatt, far left, and Theodore right beside me. Correct. So what do you guys do? I team rope, um, heading in, healing, uh, and I heal. And you heal? Okay. How old are you guys? I'm 14 years old. 14. And how old are you? 11. Yeah. Okay. And how long have you guys been riding? I've been riding since I was about two years old. Wow. And I've been riding since I was three. Wow. Been riding longer than most people. Mom and Dad have uh, have you mounted on some nice horses? What what do you ride for horses? Uh, we ride quarter horses. And Theodore, what do you specifically? What do you ride? A quarter horse, Palomino quarter horse, yeah. and I have one sorrel, and a sorrel quarter horse. And if we're watching on TV, we're getting to see your horse, and Theodore is riding his Palomino, right? Yeah. And there's Wyatt. And what color is your horse? Palomino. Palomino. Oh, oh, you guys God. are into the Palominos. Nice so shirt. Do you got <laughs> Larson Hay? Yeah, nice shirt. <laughs> it's got Larson Hay across it. So ha- do you guys rope together or? We do. Currently, I head and he heals. Okay. But coming into this next rodeo season, we're doing Florida or National Low Bridges, and we won't be able to rope together. Oh, and th- that's because he's younger? He's younger, and I'm going to move up in an age group just because our age. So do you have partners that um, you've picked out to ride with? Or yes, ma'am. You have? We pick out partners ahead of the season, and, so and now we go into the season with partners. And you have to learn to practice with them? Yes, and ma'am. That'll change wow. things up, won't yeah, it, Pete? That'll change up things a lot. Yeah. So... Heading, what does that entail? So we have audience members that have no idea what we're talking about. So explain a little bit about roping and the head part of it. So heading, you pretty much are the first person to rope the steer, and you have to rope the head of the steer, uh, dally, and then pull the steer so the healer can come and rope the legs. Oh, very good. So as the healer, tell us a little about what you do. You have, whenever the header ropes it, then you have to wait until it turns a corner, and then you throw and dally, and then stop. So you have to catch the back legs? Oh, wow. So what if you only catch one leg? It's plus five. Plus five on your time? Okay. Yeah. And then if you don't catch it all with the hind legs? It's a no time. No time? And if you don't catch the steer? It's a no time. Oh, a lot of pressure, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So... Do you ever get mad at one another? Like, oh, you missed, and I, I <laughs> caught, but you missed. Or it happens. <laughs> it, it happens. happens. <laughs> but normally, we just understand that we don't always win. So that's wow. That's a great attitude. That's really good. Yeah, that's a- good. And being a healer, it's a lot easier, right? Because you can blame him. <laughs> He doesn't catch. <laughs> if he doesn't catch, you can blame him. And if he doesn't handle the steer well, you can still blame him, right? You yeah. got to talk. <laughs> do you um, do you practice at home, or do you go to uh, other arenas to practice? Uh, we we have an arena at our house. We practice there. We try to practice every day, um, but we sometimes go to friends and other people that do practices to okay. run steers and. So you practice with different cattle and different, different situations? Cows, different different arenas, different lengths of boxes and all that. So the different length of box? Some of them are like deeper and some of them are shorter boxes. So you're stretching the steer out and the time stops right here. If you're on TV, they're showing some runs Ooh. in pictures. Look at that head loop, buddy. Very nice head loop. That's a beautiful flat loop right there, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. And you got your horse right behind the steer to the left of it. That's really nice. Focusing on your catch before your turn, right? Yes, sir. Very good. 
And then what when you see that, what is your move, Wyatt? Uh, whenever he turns the corner, then I turn the corner with him. And you're ready to... So what's it. what's easier, heading or healing? Mm. Do you ever switch? I head and heal. I'm going to start healing a little bit more. Um, I'm still going to head in some jackpots with him, but I'm going to start healing a little bit. But heading is... you. You're the first person, so you always get the first loop, but the healer always depends on you. So it's kind of... It's a team. It's a team. team the sport. healer doesn't always get a shot. There the header does. True. Now, do you have to use different horses? If you're going to start healing, do you use the same horse that you had on, or will you need Depen a different horse? Kind of depends. I'm going to use another horse. Um, I've healed in the UF roping and other ropings with my same head horse, the Palomino. So, Did you go to the roping in the swamp? Yes, ma'am. That's held it in Gainesville US. at the University yes, of Florida. Oh, I was like, and they, they, they were in the swamp and they were roping? <laughs> they call it the roping in the swamp. Okay. And it's, how many teams did they get there? Um, in our, in the number eight, they had about, I think, 316 teams. Whoa. So. Very competitive. Very competitive. Very competitive. And, and you win money. Win a, yeah, they had a lot of money. So how and, many how many guys did you rope with? Just your brother, or um, did you? I I did five runs. I did one with him, and because you can only go with one person one time. Okay. I and see. then I did with four other people. So was okay. this like a jackpot? It was. It's a jackpot. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Now you both have belt buckles on. Yes, ma'am. What a, what about that belt buckle? What is that one this for? This belt buckle I win in SRC for team roping head. And what does that stand for? Um, Swanee River Riding Club. Oh, okay. Wow. And your buckle? Why? SRC and for uh, Breakaway. And, and breakaway. breakaway. Okay, so what is Breakaway, Wyatt? You have to rope the calf out on the head, and then it pops off of your horn. Oh, okay, so there's it's not tied or you dally off. Okay. So it's just a fast time, and you stop your horse, and mm -hmm. the rope keeps going? Yes, very ah. good. So do you, do you guys practice with cattle where you're just moving them, or is this you just rope? Um, we do. We, we practice with cows, and we move them through our alleyway in our arena and put them in the chute and then run the steers like if we were at a rodeo. So you have cattle at your home? Yes, ma'am. Oh. We have about probably 16 head of steers. Wow. wow. This is a serious endeavor yes. by your whole family isn't it yes ma does your dad rope dad does rope does your mom rope she used to rope oh. she's still roping a little bit so who did you learn there. from dad 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 is he is he the better roper he he's pretty good oh, okay dad keeps your horses shod mm -hmm. oh yeah mom, that's right he's a farrier yeah he's a farrier and mom keeps it all together and probably helps you with your entries well, that was the sound that we got to wrap up. We're going to come back with the Gomez brothers and learn a little bit more about roping and about their story. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the Horse Talk Show. Have you ever heard of a horse that could talk? Listen to this. With your host, Louisa Barton. She's literally in love with every horse. Presented by Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience. She's back in the saddle again, and now here's your host, Pretty Pretty, Louisa Barton. She's a Brit, she's got the gift of the gab, and her guests are fab. Larson Farms is our TV broadcast sponsor. Mr. Richard Larson, a man of great integrity, cares about every single bale of hay and about taking care of his customers. He also has a huge heart for those genuinely in need. Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. Hey there, horsemen. Are you tired of technology that doesn't fit your way of life? Lipchip is ready to revolutionize your barn. Built by horsemen, 
four horsemen. Lip Chip knows how you ride. If you're tired of carrying around paperwork, dealing with long trailer lines, and juggling all your horse's details while trying to compete, then the answer is the Hooflink system. Simply implant, scan, and unlock. Each scan reveals everything you need to work, compete, and to protect your horses. View current health paperwork, pre-register for your next event, and even check in on your horse's health. Horsemen, let's keep our horses safe and make our lives at the barn a little easier. The future is here, and the future is lip chip. This show is brought to you in part by DAC Vitamins and Minerals of Florida. All horses need a solid immune system, excellent joint support, a healthy gut, and DAC has all the vitamins and minerals they need with the NASC stamp of approval. So like them on Facebook now or go to feeddac.com. DAC, it makes a world of difference. This hour of the Horse Talk Show is presented by Palm Chevrolet in Ocala, where the entire team is committed to making your experience in sales and service hassle-free and easier than ever with no games or gimmicks. Come in and visit on Southwest College Road or online at palmchevrolet.com. A second-to-none experience with all the amenities. Palm Chevy, find new roads. The Equine Performance and Innovative Center, situated on 30 pristine acres in the horse capital of the world, is one of the finest and most complete conditioning and rehab centers for equines and canines in the nation, including an equine hyperbaric chamber, aqua pacer, water treadmill, cold water leg spa, equine swimming pool, Eurosizer, and more. Epic equine veterinarians specializing in rehab and conditioning. For more information, go to epcrehab.com or find them on social media. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Welcome to the Horse Talk Show. Louisa Barton's gone, so it's Dance and Pete time. I'm here from Complimentary Horsemanship. I have my right-hand lady, Betsy, and we are presented by Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience, and our broadcast sponsor, Larson's Hay, Idaho's finest alfalfa. (laughs) Okay, that's usually my line, so I was like, oh. I do the beginning. And we both forgot. Yes, ma'am. Okay. But that's okay. It happens to me, too. Okay. And we're here with the Gomez brothers. And we've been talking about roping and finding out a little about how you do it and what your who's the header and who's the healer. That's right. And now we can't be partners for a little while until Wyatt catches up. Is that right? Gets older. Ah, darn. What could you be if you just. Tell him that he's not that age. We'll Tell make him, he's him older. 13. That's right. They won't know. All right. So let's get into what is your idols. So who do you idolize in in the roping world or not? We're the roping Probably, world. probably the biggest idols are uh, my dad. Um, Torres brothers are a big one because they're a lot like us. They're brothers, Hispanic, um, and they really love team roping um Trevor brazil is another one i met him oh he's, he's got it yeah. signed oh got the autograph and right now caleb uh, caleb driggers and junior noriega wow and those what do the, what do those guys do team roping team roping oh you're yeah. you're you don't like the rough stock guys no, oh okay no. that's good and those are nfr cowboys NFR. the and torres brothers NFR, national finals rodeo guys. jonathan made his first nfr this last year wow and of course caleb caleb and and junior they won four years in a row i think yeah wow and uh trevor's got 26 world champion you guys know all of it don't you yeah well when they're your idols (laughs) that's right you need to pay attention yeah and so what's your goals what's your long-term goals or your short-term goals with roping life what is why don't we hear from wyatt first um what do you want to do next year and the year coming up in the next couple years? Um That's all right. 
Be a little tongue-tied. You're probably better at roping than doing interviews, aren't you? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, we'll go to your brother. We'll head first. Here we go. All right, um, goals, right? Yes, sir. All right, um, my goals are to try to be the champion and go to the world um, national little bridges, the world finals, um, and try to win for healing or heading because oh. I'm going to compete in both. Oh, wow. And then I'm what about school go goals? Um, I want to be an architect and go to rodeo college. Wow. Wow, very so good. So you're trying for a scholarship. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. And right now both of you are homeschooled, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. And who helps you with that? Mom's our teacher. Mom's the teacher. So you like your teacher? Dad's the coach. <laughs> pretty much a family thing it is oh. a family so thing. tell us a I typical day in your life because a lot of people listening didn't grow up on a farm don't have responsibilities aren't homeschooled i i don't know if i could have been homeschooled it would have been really difficult for my mom so tell us your typical day guys um normally we just wake up we have dogs um we you know do everything that we need to do with the dogs feed the horses and then get on school as quick as we can because and we what time is this about eight o'clock we get on school and we really want to finish before the middle of the day so we can go rope and do everything outside so we normally get done eat and then go outside right now with the heat we have to kind of a little harder so have you switched your routine and do the the fun and the cool and then do the school in the afternoon yeah we're gonna start riding in the morning or really late at night okay uh, to okay. try to beat the heat beat yes the sir heat. and the rain that we've had and that's rain. been very hard the rain our, our arena has been flooded probably for two weeks wow it's finally wow. drying up now well that's good hmm. so when you're homeschooled and you get to do a sport and have fun with the horses what time do you get up? And, and I want to ask, does mom get you up? Or does dad get you up? Or do you wake up because you need to get your chores done? We normally wake up. There you go. That's because you're loving what you do. Yes, ma'am. And you're learning good work ethic. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I would hire both of you because of that. Because when I grew up, I didn't grow up to do cowboy stuff and all that. All my buddies were grew up like you guys did. And I looked like a slacker. So I had to step up my game because they had chores growing up to where they had to yeah. feed and all that kind of stuff like you guys do. And you know, I want to say that when Richard Larson and myself interviewed these two young men to see about a sponsorship for them, this impressed Richard. He's a farmer. Right. He has to get up early, stay out late, he has to work hard so he could appreciate the mindset that these two young men have and where their future is is going towards. Very good. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Because it pays off now, it'll pay off later. And then let's talk about their sponsorship. So, Betsy, what, what do you help them with being Larson Hay? We help them with their hay, and um, they both get a certain amount of hay to feed and take care of both of their horses, each horse has their own sponsorship yes. and oh, the wow. each young guy does and they get a certain amount of shavings and um, that helps keep their horses in great shape they feed them alfalfa yes ma'am yeah they get the three string alfalfa Idaho's finest alfalfa by the yeah. way and your horses have a little age on them is that they right do. how old is your horse my horse is 20 years old and Wyatt 22 22 and if for all you listeners out there as a trainer great that you want to learn from older horses and then you go and get a little bit younger horse to learn from so you have another horse coming up and me and dad right now are working on um, my other horse ray um and we have another one too chiquita that we're trying to work on for healing and uh chiquita's 12 and ray's 14 so so They're, they'll have a long they'll have a long career rodeo career yeah that's awesome very good and do you have to have a separate horse that you break away on or can you use your healing horse to do that i use my heel one and he knows to do that wow 
So what's this glove thing? I know what it is, but I won't. Listeners, they've got gloves on their when, belts. When we're team roping. Oh, lucky. Green screen. <laughs> it's disappeared. <laughs> the glove, uh, we use it when we're roping so we don't get rope burns or anything. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. Well, before we end, thank you guys for coming. So this is a piranha goodie bag for both of you. So since you both... Well, yeah, have everybody horses. loves goodie bags. <laughs> so Look that's going to have piranhas fly spray, some shine stuff, and even a coupon for more fly spray. That's awesome. Yes, and see, that your glove reminded me of the disappearing. So if you hold those up, they disappear also sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we don't get to see them. Well, it's the invisible bag. The invisible bags. <laughs> sure, you got something. Well, thank you guys for coming. We really appreciate it. We want to thank you guys. And, hey, we could have said we just interv interviewed the Gomez brothers 10, 15 years from now. And That's they're right. top in a far right. Will the you remember NFR. us? Probably. Well, will you get us, let so. us have tickets if you make it to the NFR? We will. Oh, okay. Here, I love it. I love it. The future of roping. Here it is. Well, you guys did great. And we'll see you in just a second. Thank you to the presenting sponsor of this portion of the Horse Talk Show, Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience. Thank you to our TV broadcast sponsor, Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. Also, thank you to supporting sponsors, Nirvana Medical Spa, TT Distributors, Summit Joint Performance, Equigreen, Midnight Rose Equestrian, the Florida Horse Park, Horse Farms Forever, and the Equine Performance and Innovative Center. Having an air conditioner that works well in Florida is a must. Experience peace of mind by working with Florida HVAC Services, a family-owned and operated company taking pride in always putting their customers first. Providing air conditioner repair, installation, and maintenance services on all makes and models. For those suffering from allergies or asthma, air quality testing is recommended and hospital grade air filters are available. Ask about a pure air filtration system today. Check them out at flhvacservices.com or like them on Facebook. Florida HVAC Services, serving all of North Central Florida with honesty, integrity and the highest value of workmanship. And that's 100% guaranteed. This show is brought to you in part by Seminole Feed Stores, family-owned since 1934. Manufacturing fixed formula horse feeds with mindful monitoring and quality ingredients right here in Ocala in an all-natural, non-medicated feed mill. Seminole Feed, simply the world's best and safest feed. Like them on Facebook now or find them at SeminoleFeed.com. Join us July 22nd, 8.30 to 5 p.m. for the Equine Extravaganza at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion, Ocala. Brought to you by West Florida Fence and the Horse Talk Show. Fundraising for Spirit Equine Therapy and Open Hands Animal Rescue. Enjoy a fantastic breed show from miniature horses to Clydesdales. With jumping and dressage demos, you can also watch barrel racing, dog training, mounted shooting, and enjoy food vendors and crafts for kids, plus a silent auction. Check the Equine Extravaganza fundraiser event on Facebook. And we'll see you July 22nd from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion for the best in horsing around in the horse capital. My name is Dr. Natalie Solomon. I formulated Equigreen with cutting edge science and technology alongside the passion that is represented by a lifelong love of horses. I created a product that I would trust for my horses because they deserve nothing but the best for their bodies. Horses rely on us to take care of them, to love them, to respect them. This is how Equigreen came to life. Equigreen, CBD for your horse that you can trust. 
The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Welcome back to the Horse Talk Show. Your host, Danson Pete, today with my co host, Betsy, presented by Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience, and our broadcast sponsor, Larson's Hay, Idaho's finest alfalfa. We're going to go to Epic Equine Performance Innovative, Innovative Center, and they're going to talk about the high, hyperbaric chamber that's a lot of words <laughs> and we're gonna find out what you can do with that and if your horse needs those kind of things take it away helps that know about hyperbetic. what is it and why can we put a horse in it why would it be beneficial okay good hyperbetic oxygen chamber is considered voodoo medicine witchcraft <laughs> by many practitioners the the benefits are unlimited. Think about this. Think about a space where you are breathing 100% oxygen. And not just that, the oxygen is getting into your tissues with pressure. How awesome must that feel, right? Um, just to give you an idea, right now, you and I here are breathing about 21% oxygen and imagine if we multiply that times five. That'd be a real great feeling. Right? <laughs> That'd be cool. So what that basically in a nutshell is what the hyperbaric oxygen chamber provides. Now, the benefit of that is that bacteria hates oxygen. Bad bacteria, right? There's good bacteria, there's bad bacteria. Bacteria, a lot of a lot of the bad bacteria just wants to live away from oxygen. The cells of the body of oxygen, right? So all your skin, your bones, your organs, they love it. And they do really good with it. Another great benefit of is that there is a very limited amount of oxygen that your body can carry. We all know, I hope, that in a normal circumstance, like right now, we breathe the oxygen, it goes to our lungs, and then the red blood cells catch it. And they take it, and they take it to your feet, take it to your organs, take it everywhere. Then the red blood cells drop it, come back to the lungs, catch more, and take it. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Great. Well, just like baseball, there's a limited amount of balls that a catcher can catch at one time. There's a limited amount of oxygen that a red blood cell can catch at one time. Does that make sense so far? Absolutely. Great. So now, imagine a world where on top of that, we put oxygen all around the, the red blood cells and they don't have to catch it. But they can just live with it and it can go through the body in addition to the ones that they have caught. Oh, wow. So now we have extra oxygen all through the blood going through places. This is called oxygen in the plasma. So instead of being in the red blood cells, now this oxygen is in the plasma. Let me give you an idea how it works. Have you ever been at the hospital visiting a friend or someone that has needed, um, and they have put a little oxygen mask in here, right? Well, that oxygen mask is 100% oxygen, and that will increase the oxygen in the body a little bit. Now, when you put the horse in the chamber, you're, not get, you're just not getting that little bit in the nose. You're getting the whole body. And that increases 600%. Wow. In the plasma. So now that we went into the physiology of it, what does that mean? That also means that more stem cells are released into the body 
stem cells are a hot topic in veterinary medicine and human medicine right now. So we're all talking about stem cells, right? Well, the stem the body has stem cells. Stem cells, did you know that they get made in the bones? Yeah. Inside <laughs> the bones, there's a bone marrow. That bone marrow makes a lot of stem cells. Well, it's been scientifically proven that stem cells are released at a higher rate from the bone marrow to the body with chamber treatment. That's incredible. Yes. Let's see, let's see, that's the, let's do more. Let's say, let's say we have um, an antibiotic because we're treating an infection and this horse is on a, or a person is on an antibiotic. Well, now when you put them in the hyperbaric oxygen chamber, these antibiotics are going to work better with the oxygen treatment. Sense. Why? Because the antibiotics, the antibiotics or the antimicrobials or the antifungals are not magic on their own. They need the, the immune system to work. So the stem, the, excuse me, the hyperbaric chamber makes this immune system very pumped up so they can actually help the antibiotic and they fix the body faster. Very interesting. And going off of that too, so obviously it helps on the inside, but what about for topical things like a wound? Would it help that as well? Well, absolutely. But the cool thing is that we think that it's actually helping it from the outside in, but it's actually not. It's coming from the inside out. So it's actually providing all the healing nutrients and the healing and the oxygen from the inside out, not necessarily from the outside in. Why? Because if you think of a wound on top of the wound, what's on top of the wound? Typically it scabs up. It scabs. And how healthy is that scab? Not usually very. Right? <laughs> and how much do you think that scab can help that wound? It's on top of it. How much can help it? Not much. Not a lot. However, what's underneath the wound? Healthy tissue. Healthy tissue. So we superpower that healthy tissue so it can continue healing it from the inside out. Awesome. Well, I think that was a great description and definitely best verbiage for me to understand it. So I hope it helped you guys as well. Thank you so much for being with us. Please make sure that you're following us on social media and letting us know what you want to hear next. Thank you. And remember, we have a lot of information on www.albertorulan.com. Yes. We talk about all the regenerative medicine and including the hyperbaric oxygen and ozone and others. And a free ebook. So, I mean, who doesn't want some free knowledge? Right. Great. Love it. Have a great day. Thank you to the presenting sponsor of this portion of the Horse Talk Show, Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience. Thank you to our TV broadcast sponsor, Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. Also, thank you to supporting sponsors, Nirvana Medical Spa, TT Distributors, Summit Joint Performance, Equigreen, Midnight Rose Equestrian, the Florida Horse Park, Horse Farms Forever, and the Equine Performance and Innovative Center. This hour of the Horse Talk Show is presented by Palm Chevrolet in Ocala, where the entire team is committed to making your experience in sales and service hassle-free and easier than ever with no games or gimmicks. Come in and visit on Southwest College Road or online at palmchevrolet.com. A second-to-none experience with all the amenities. Palm Chevy, find new roads. The Equine Performance and Innovative Center, situated on 30 pristine acres in the horse capital of the world, is one of the finest and most complete conditioning and rehab centers for equines and canines in the nation, including an equine hyperbaric chamber, aqua pacer, water treadmill, cold water leg spa, equine swimming pool, Eurosizer, and more. Epic equine veterinarians specializing in rehab and conditioning. For more information, go to epcrehab.com or find them on social media. 
This show was brought to you in part by TT Distributors, dedicated to bringing their customers the largest selection of quality horse supplements, products, and farrier supplies in Florida at affordable prices. Also online at ttdistributors.com. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. And we're back at the Horse Talk Show, sitting in for Louisa Barton. I'm Danson P. from Complimentary Horsemanship. I have from Larson Hay, Betsy. And we are presented by Palms Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience, our broadcast sponsor, and we always love Larson Hay. Idaho's finest alfalfa. And we have Betsy's Ocala's finest person oh, here with us. Pete. Yes, Sweet ma'am. Pete. Sweet Pete. Thanks. There you go. Don't need that nickname. You, you. Dancing Pete's fine for okay. me. Okay. So we've had a great show. It's been fun. So okay. let's get into great guests. Yes, ma'am. Let's get into Dancing Pete's tip of the week dance and pete tip of the week brought to you by complimentary horsemanship you look <laughs> a little wonky okay today's dance and pete tip of the week for horsemanship is feeding so what does your horse what is your horse saying when you're feeding and what is he doing when you're feeding so this is a big one that i just helped somebody at an event, they were telling me that their horse was pounding on stuff and waiting for the feed truck and all this kind of stuff. Anxious. And I was, yeah, anxious. Oh, my gosh. And I always tell them, find a safe spot in the stall. So I always say, go to the corner. And you have to go stand in the corner with your nose and wait. And until you calm down and degrees of relaxation, so maybe you got to be standing there with your head down for a minute or we we're going to wait until you yawn. So there's always degrees, and as you progress, it'll get... Is that me yawning or the horse? The horse. Oh, okay. I just... <laughs> so before they're allowed to get their feed, and then I always like to go, okay, touch the back of my hand, and now I present the feed for you. And at any time you pin your ears at me, I'm going to back you up and start back over and put you in the corner. Oh. And what this teaches the horse is I am the one that's giving you the feed, not... If they could talk, it would be, Betsy just invited me over for food. And I go, where's the food? Get me my damn food. Yeah. I bet you're not going to feed me, are you? Uh, you can. You aren't invited to the next party. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I watch barn after barn where people dump the feed because they're in a hurry. And that is training time. So you're teaching that horse because you're training at all to times. To be anxious. To be anxious. I can't tell you how many times I've had horses that are sitting there yawning at feeding time. And they're like, how did you do that? It's like I spent some time in, when I fed, every time I fed, to get them relaxed so that feeding time's a relaxed thing. And if you feed a group of horses, they should line up and nobody's allowed to take anybody's food. That's how I feed and it makes a difference in everything. Like I've had people go, oh my gosh, all my horses are doing this and they're getting better in the saddle. And I'm like, well, yeah. Because you're the leader You're now. the leader all the time. Yeah. Just like if you had these kids I guarantee you when mom and dad says it's supper time, they're not diving, diving into the, yelling, getting not, anxious. Not those two young men that were no, just here. No, ma'am. So that's the tip of the week. Hopefully that can help you with your horse or if you get a horse and even dogs. I, I, I do it my with dog, my dog. Yes, ma'am. She has to wait. That's right. And speaking of dogs, Uncle Neil with Ocala Dog Ranch with the tip of dog parks. The Horse Talk Show goes to the dogs at Ocala Dog Ranch. Hi there, Neil Hennessy, the Ocala Dog Ranch. Dog parks, good or bad. It's a great place to take your dog if they want to go. Not all dogs are meant to be in a dog park. And don't forget, you're there to make sure that they're safely playing with other dogs. So don't go there and drink your coffee and smoke a cigarette. Engage with your dog, play with your dog and make sure that they're safe and if they get into a situation where they, you need to help step in there and help them and god forbid you should have your dog get bit make sure you grab the owner's information that, that whose dog bit you if you can't grab their information photograph their license plate and call the cops neil hennessy and thanks neil that was very informative about taking your dog to a dog park 
Same thing when you go to the horse park, <laughs> right? <laughs> exact same. We yeah. have a horse park here. That's right. You got to make sure your horse is under control, and you don't just let it go and say "see ya." No. So don't do it with your dog either. Nobody unless... wants children, dogs, or horses That's out of right. control. I, I can't tell you. And I have buddies that have dogs that are under control twenty four seven with no leash, and everybody's like, "How'd you do that?" Well. They spend some time with their dog. Somebody's the leader. That's right. Just going back to Just your feeding. Just going back. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, let's wrap it up with some news. Extravaganza again is coming July 22nd, 2023 from 8.30 to 5 p.m. At the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion. It's presented by West Florida Fence. And, and the, the horse, horse talk, talk show, show with Louisa Barton. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And what are we going to be seeing? Breed parades. That's Louisa's favorite. For sure. We're, they're going to be demos. There'll be kids' crafts, vendors, and much, much more. Learn about all the breeds that they'll be there and what else. And it's, this is, this is going to benefit the Spirit Equine Therapy and Open Hands Animal Rescue. Also known as OHAR. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Tammy Leedy and And this is the Florida Mounted and this group is the one that helped with Louisa when they were finding Molly, the horse that got loose True. in the forest. Yep. So yep. we really appreciate them and yes, I'm going to be there. Louisa's gonna be there. You're gonna I'm be there. I'm gonna Betsy? be there, you bet. All right. Wouldn't miss it. Very good. So this is the end until July fourth is next week yeah so what's going to happen our show on july 4th is going to have dr chaot he's going to be talking about heaves and we're going to have jason reynolds he's florida horse park he's going to talk from about the florida horse yep, park from the Hor florida horse park he's going to talk about the park and then we're going to have the chiropractor esther brum brumand brumand i'm there sorry you. esther brumand, brumand. Yes. And she's going to talk about chiropractic with dogs, I believe. I know that really helps my horses when they work on my horses. Yes, ma'am. And I believe she does horses and dogs. dogs and her husband does humans. Which That's she a great can do, combination. She can, do, she can do humans also, but she prefers what the animals. What a great animals. combination. Oh, definitely. Husband, wife. Husband and wife. Yeah. Great teams. Well, I think we, had, we did well. What do you think? I think I had a great time. I hope... Uh, I get to come back and oh, oh I'll take I'll take you back. Well, we got to get Louisa back from Ireland and hear all about her adventures. Oh yeah, so good luck. That's about actually my favorite country to go to. Is it in, in my life? I got to spend time in Germany, and then we traveled for three years. We traveled while we lived in Germany, and Ireland was my ultimate favorite because of the greenest grass, the bluest ocean. And some of the nicest people and the heritage and stories. I kissed the Barney Stone. Don't. Yeah, my mom swore that it was the second time when I kissed it because she was like, you can't keep your mouth shut. I don't know if I want you to kiss the Barney Stone. So, But yeah, they're going to have fun learning about the city. The What's city, our sister city. I, I can't remember the name of the sister city, but they are also going to go visit the Karaa. What's the Kara? Well, us people here would call it the Karag, which is very, very wrong. It's where all the famous uh, horses, the thoroughbred horses, oh. are kept in Ireland. Oh I believe. gosh! Now, yeah. Louise Kara. Louise is going to have connections all over she Ireland will. now. I had an Irishman tell me how to pronounce it cor correctly. <laughs> So. All right. Well, we want to thank our guests, the Gomez brothers, and all our other usuals. Dr. Kayot. Yeah, Dr. Kayot. And I want to thank you for showing up. And Louisa, thanks for letting me host and thanks for helping with. Well, it was Betsy. my pleasure to be here. It Good. was fun. Well, Great if you're fun. in Marion County or not, happy horsing around. See you later. <laughs>